want to welcome you to CERT Data Recovery's YouTube Flash Drive Recovery segment brought to you by CERT's own Clean Room Productions. Today we're going to bring you some live footage of a recovery case that came through our West Palm Beach lab involving a PNY flash drive that could not be recognized by any computer. In these types of situations, it's going to be required to do what is called a chip off recovery where we have to take the NAND off of the PCB board and put it in a special reader and to compile the data. What you're seeing right now is disassembling the outer case of this PNY drive. You have to be careful when you're doing this because you don't want to damage the PCB board inside. If you slip and the, um, the tool that you're using damages that NAND, which is on the left side, the bigger black chip, then you're pretty much going to be out of luck. Here there's a sticker on the NAND, so we're going to peel that off because we have to use a heat gun in order to heat up the solder, which is holding that NAND to the PCB board in order to pull it off. Essentially, you're going to want to clamp the USB, if it's available, um, the USB connector to hold it stationary so that you can apply a little bit of pressure in removing the NAND once the solder is heated enough. You don't want to use too hot of temperatures on the NAND because it can be... Um, affected by the heat. So what you see here is that this particular NAN is attached to the PCB using um, a BGA which is a ball grid array type of surface mount packaging. Um, this is uh, different than older types of uh, USB drives in the sense that the older ones have legs. The NAND chips with legs are pretty much removed in the same manner with a heat gun and the, when the solder is melted it will uh, pull off the PCB the same way that you saw this BGA chip. As you can see there's a lot of solder that actually um, will prevent a good connection between the adapter and this chip. We're not going to bore you with the process of cleaning this BGA surface and preparing it for the NAND reader and adapter. However, this is the process our engineers have had to go through when we receive a chip off BGA recovery case. This type of recovery is only possible because we have state of the art equipment in our lab and our engineers are trained and efficient to perform it. This type of recovery is required when the drive will not mount, will not be recognized by any device, it shows a zero capacity, and in some instances where the drive will not get power. We don't charge for evaluation on drives that have not been previously worked on. Give us a call for a free phone consultation or fill out an online quote request at secure.certdatarecovery.com forward slash quote. Well, thank you for joining us today and please submit your questions and comments below. We will do our best to respond within 24 hours.